Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. A hierarchy among the select. Now, a lot of people, they're familiar with the, the select, non-select paradigm that I use. Right, because I'm, um, you know, to me the whole alpha beta thing is relative, right? Select, non-select that encompasses a lot. You know, it's just basically saying if you you're select if you're consistently uh, chosen by women, you're non-select if you're consistently rejected by women. That's that's it in a nutshell. But even within even within a select, it's not like you know you do all this work or spend this money, spend all this time in the gym. Uh, you know, get some style and everything. Even once you become select, all of a sudden there's just a line of women going back and forth to your door. Nah, there's levels to this thing. Like if you get a dude, if he can go out and consistently get reasonably attractive women just to look his way, smile and everything, but he might hook up, say, say a new woman every three months. He's still select. He's just at the lower end of it. Because see, a lot of dudes, they'll they'll a lot of dudes, when they look at that whole alpha, beta, and so whatever, select, non-select, whatever you want to call it, you know, you know, the big rooster in the yard thing, whatever you want to say. That's what one dude at the seminar I did called it. You know, you just the big rooster in the yard. There's always going to be those guys who literally be having like three women a day and no matter where they go and they're going crazy. One of the things is people can't compare themselves to that. Those dudes are on another plateau. And I think that's where a lot of people get, you know, they compare themselves to that real top guy. But that top guy, you're talking like one out of 100,000, if that. Because I've met, I mean, guys, I've met maybe a handful of men. I don't think I could count them all. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can count them all maybe on a couple fingers. I mean, a couple hands. Maybe not even that much, really, now that I'm really thinking about it. The guys who, like, legitimately say, yeah, I've been with hundreds of women and stuff. That's rare. But, see, some guys will look at that. You get some guys who ain't getting any play, they'll look at that and say, well, I want to get there. It was like, look, first of all, a guy on that level, there's a combination of factors that get that guy there. And, you know, it's some combination. It, this combination is such to truly explain how some guy could get to that level, I would have to do an analysis of, like some dudes would just say, well, he must be real handsome or real built or a celebrity or something like that. Yeah, all that could come in. But, you know, the guys I've met who on that, they weren't celebrities. They were just kind of regular dudes. But if I wanted to do an analysis of why they doing that, I'd had, I had to take y'all over to the Deep Thought channel. I had to get into some deep metaphysics, which is behind that. Why they attracting like that? It is it, some deep stuff. But those guys are almost like genetic mutations, anomalies and stuff. The average select guy, if they can get 12 women a year, they still select. Because there's levels to it. It's levels to it. it. Because just because a woman might check you out don't mean she's going to sleep with you. Like, I know these two dudes, right? Two young dudes, right? And this crosses races. These are two young dudes. They were both select. But just in different ways. You know? One had, like, a bunch of young girls chasing him and everything. You know, his age, they thought he was so handsome and everything. You know, that's one level. But see, he wasn't trying to be like that, you know, 100-notch player. And probably hasn't cheated on... He was engaged to his girlfriend last time I talked to him. She, she didn't even look like all that. But he was still select. And then you had another dude. Shoot, he was that type, you know, hitting a few more and stuff. He, shoot. But he, even he, he wasn't like doing that 100 thing. But they were still select. See, a lot of guys got to... You got to think... Select don't even mean that you even trying to be a womanizer. One of the most select dudes I know, like women go crazy over this dude. Like he's one of those dudes that shoot, if I put this picture in a thumbnail, I guarantee I get about 2,000. I get 2,000 women subscribers easily. And they be like, Rom, uh, we need you to do, we need you to do a, a page and everything or, you know, for us. Just, just put these guys up. 
I should do that too. <laughs> I should I should do that too. Just put some just put like make up some like Instagram or something just with like men that women like go drool over and shit. <laughs> make some money that way. But this particular dude, he could he's one of those dudes if he wanted to, he probably could have had two, three hundred women, but that dude's mostly monogamous. I don't think, and last time I spoke with him, he said, shit, he might have been with 12 women in his life. But he's still select. Select don't necessarily mean you're a womanizer. See, that's the one thing people want, need to get out their heads, though. They don't mean you're a womanizer. It just mean women choosing. You could be the type of cat, like, say, okay, just because the women choosing, you only going to choose fine women. Like this particular dude I just mentioned, his wife bad as shit. Let that motherfucker slip up. I was like, God damn, she fine. And he, he get off on dudes checking her out. I'm like, shit, you ain't cheating on that motherfucker. <laughs> Shoot. But it's so, it's so much to it. It's so much to it. And the reason why I'm bringing that up, because, you know, I... You know, been doing some private coaching. I've noticed I get a lot of uh, guys who are nominally select. They just don't know it. You know, they talk to me. I'm say, dude, uh, you you you's a good boy. Like more than once, I was just like, it's very rare I get some dude who's just totally non-select. Cause well, you know, from cause some videos I've done, they don't really film my stuff anyway. It's usually some guys. What I get is usually some guys that just need a little bit of tweaking. That's what I get. I get, you know, I'm like that basketball coach. You know, you get that guy with some raw talent. He can run and jump and stuff. He just need a few techniques to tweak it. Like, um, like if some dude's just totally hopeless or something, I don't know if I could really help. Man, I've told some dudes that. I was just like, no, I don't know if I can help you because, shit, I ain't going to try to force it. But, you know, you get some of these cats, they, you know what? You got a lot of cats out there who they just maybe need to change their uh, haircut. Just do some small things. Like very superficial. Change their haircut. You know. Iron their clothes. Seriously, don't even need to get a car or anything like that or have money. They just right there. You know, because they got, they got the tools. Or just recognize it. Because you get a lot of cats out there who could probably... You actually got some cats out there who could probably hit 100 couple hundred if they want to if they want to you know but you know it's it's, it's a big it's a big feel because i'm gonna tell you something else and I've, I've mentioned this in a video before you can be select and still be friend zoned so you got some guys they might get friend zoned by a few women but you get some like really like you get some like uh high class women or, you know, some women who, you know, they, they up there, they, they, they more of a high octane, you know, they got attract, they physically attractive. Or they hanging in the right circle. They can actually friend zone some otherwise select men. In fact, if many women, many women, if, if they can, they would, oh, they would never interact with any non-select men. So if you see men that they just cool with. They gonna be attractive. I've known women. I shit. I'm thinking about one now. The guys she just interacted with casually, on some player shit. Let me say that again. The guys she interacted casually with, on some player shit. But for whatever reason, she wasn't trying to get. But she friend zoned. You know. But she's you know she still had her other guys. But that's that just mean look. A lot of dudes out here thinking they on some nice guy shit. And that's a personal thing with me. Because I look back at it and stuff. I used to think I was on some nice guy stuff. And even though I was... But I was comparing myself to those dudes getting the hundreds. You know, those like dudes at the top top. And I was like, but then... And some people had to point this out to me. They were like, well, Rom, hold up. So-and-so, she, she good looking. She checking you out. So-and-so good looking. They checking you out. Shoot, you the one tripping. <laughs> so anyway, right? You know what? I just want to throw that out there because a lot of guys got it and they just don't realize it. Because here's the thing also with being select. It don't mean you ain't going to get rejected. 
it does not mean that at all all select ultimately really means and this is why i don't use the alpha beta thing all select really means is she's gonna open the door for you that's it that's it it ain't gonna mean she's just gonna jump on your dick or something it means she, she'll give you a chance it's a is the ball's in your court when a woman open that door she's saying okay walk in i want to see what you got and if she don't like what you got boom it's like when women say he was cute until he opened his mouth that's the thing but you still probably select because i that's why i say that's why i'm you know i did a video and i was just like i ain't that big everybody talk about that 80 20 or whatever and it, it sounds good but like i said the number's more 35 65 because a lot of dudes don't know what they got you know or they comparing themselves to that like top top dude but that's you know what the player a player who say if you were ranked every single player in something like the nba right every single active player in the nba right you rank them according to skill level right and i don't know that's a few hundred wait 12 times that's a few hundred a few hundred right now, of course, is our, I ain't going to argue, I ain't going to do some sports channels shit and try to argue who the best is. But then when you get down to the absolute worst, but they still, the absolute worst is still in an elite league. The NBA is an elite league. The absolute worst player, the dude sitting on the end of the bench, right? One of those basically practice players that these NBA, play, uh, NBA teams uh, cat, carry around, right? You know, they ain't getting in the game. They, they don't even bother taking off their uniform. The fact of the matter is they still elite. They still made it to an elite league because there are thousands of players around the world who would like to be in that position, who would love to be in that position, just to, just to be there. So, you know, just wanted to share that. A lot of guys out there are more select than they realize. So, anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.